Hey, hey you guys, so for the finishing uh, dust commission piece uh, for now will be the Koenig's Luther Heavy Panzer Walker. Uh, he looks huge, if we say it like that. Um, for Germany in dust miniatures, dust warfare. Uh, The heaviest variant of the Luther, the Koenig's Luther, sometimes wins battles even before firing its first shot. So terrifying its raw firepower that uh, that many enemy tank commanders simply refuse to fight it without support from their mightiest walkers. Uh, with its dual 17.3 cm FPK, the Koenig's Luther is a formidable weapon, easily among the most fearsome in the war. So we have two 173 millimeter cannons, which is freakishly huge. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the parts. So this is quite a big guy, pig spider like walker. Uh, and yeah, the guns looks quite freaking huge too. Uh, I understand that he need to be stable with four legs when he have those kind of huge guns. And wow, oh, my cell phone was ringing. That's nice. No, I don't know. So. Uh, I like how he looks. I think we can turn legs. Maybe. Let's see. Uh, maybe. No, I don't dare to do it right now, <laughs> as usual, I guess. Um, but wow, that looks nice. Two uh, machine guns have machine guns in the vision slit. Hmm. I don't know what I think about that, but uh, cool with machine guns, but eh, I don't know <laughs> right there where the vision slit should be. I don't know. Um, a uh, hatch up there. Some, I guess, fans for the engine or something. Uh, quite a big guy. I wonder why this thing is underneath. Hmm. I guess we'll see later. Can he turn? He can turn a bit, what it seems like. Can we take this off? Eh. I think we can. Yes, we can. That's good. So uh, let's have a look at this guy uh, assembled, I think we should. No, wait, we should have a look at the other parts first. Sorry. Uh, and here we have one of the side pieces for the uh, cannon barrels. Oh my god, this is, this is, wow, okay. This looks <laughs> so cool. Nice, wow. These are some nice details. Wow, this is nice, guys. It's two of them. Switch on four. Uh, this is going in the back. Oh yeah, so he could become a little bit bigger even. Um, I guess this is the engine compartment or something like that. Uh, probably. Uh, and the huge huge cannons it will be interesting to paint this one I say guys uh, I hope it will be fun Koenig's Luther his stat card you get in the box uh, so let's assemble him and uh, so I'll be right back guys so I have assembled this beast now, and uh, it is ridiculously huge, as you can see. Um, I am quite impressed of how it looks. It is just... wow. <laughs> and like, when you have assembled it, I uh, got to know that this is the ammunition canisters. Uh, because they are attached to the cannons too, so 
And uh, when you have attached all of this, it's this slots right in between the cannons and on a little thing in between there. So it becomes quite steady when you've done that, which is really good in my opinion. Uh, one thing he can't do though is he can't turn around like a turret, you know. Uh, so hence why also probably why you have four legs it is quite easier to turn around and when he walks like this just turning probably works quite much like a tank hunter but wow he is huge I mean this is and the thing he had underneath there was a belly plate I, re I just saw like protection plate uh, the back legs looks like spider legs which is really cool in my opinion and uh, huge guy this model looks just incredible it is really really impressive uh, let's compare him with a normal uh, young Luther There you have the Jagd Luther <laughs> that I painted before. That is uh, just ridiculous. He really looks like nothing compared to the Koenigs Luther. The Koenigs Luther is just ridiculous. Freakishly huge, freakishly huge. I am really impressed by this mall. My god. So, that was the Koenig's Luther, guys, and I am going to begin with him soon, so thank you for now and have a good one.